Good day, everyone. Yeah. My name is Amarachi Amechi, and I'm the co-founder and COO of Big Power. At Big Power, basically, we are building the critical infrastructure to power the future of finance on blockchain. And today, I'll be talking about blockchain for Africa, why we should care. And some of the points I'll be highlighting today, because they've already told me that, oh, I have to keep to time. So I'll just pick some certain points today that we'll just quickly talk about, which is what is blockchain, its relevance in the African context, the opportunity blockchain presents in the African context, and block some blockchain projects in Africa, and why we should actually care. Africa's initial introduction to blockchain technology was through the cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency basically was an easy sell for people who are actually looking for high yield return and wealth creation. Because of time, I know a lot of us here actually got introduced into the crypto world or the blockchain world by buying our first you know, crypto like BTC, ETH and the rest and actually waiting for it to actually um, grow in value for us to sell. So basically this was actually some of the starting points or the introduction or ways that Africa was actually basically introduced to, to the blockchain space. But crypto alone doesn't actually scratch the surface of the potential that blockchain technology pretends for Africa's digital economy. Now, let's look at this report by Chainalysis on Africa in June 2020 to July 2021. It states that Africa amassed a total of 105 billion dollar worth of cryptocurrency, which was actually done via the peer-to-peer -peer market. And this actually accounted for over 1,200 percent adoption rate. And with that, it made Africa the fastest adoption rate in the world. Now, let's look at some of the top five African countries with the highest adoption rates. We all know that Nigeria basically is the highest adoption rate with over 35 percent. And this is actually due to a number of factors, which include the high cost of financial bank services, you know, lack of access to financial services in the rural area and growing popularity among the P2P market trading. And we have Kenya with about 25%. We have South Africa with about 20%. We have Tanzania with about 15% adoption rate and we have Ghana with about 10%. Yeah, so I'm just trying to wrap up um, because we are out of time. Now, Africa basically it's a land of incredible diversity, innovation and untapped potentials. But yet, we're actually faced with a lot of challenges, right? And some of the f challenges we're actually faced with is limited access to financial services, we lack, ad lack of identity, lack of documentation, an inefficient system, and also infrastructure. Yes, these challenges actually hinders Africa from reaching its full potential. Now, let's talk about blockchain for Africa. Blockchain, right, often heralded as a technology behind cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, ETH, Litecoin, and the rest of them, holds a much broader promise for the African market. Yeah, I know a lot of people have talked about what is blockchain, what is blockchain since the start of today, but yeah, I'll just give you a brief rundown on what's blockchain. Blockchain basically is a decentralized, transparent, and immutable digital ledger that has the potential to transform a lot of industry or sector in Africa, from the healthcare to the supply chain to the finance to the agriculture and many more. Now let's look at some of the opportunities for Afri opportunities for Africa. I'll just highlight there are four, but I'll just talk about the first two, which is financial inclusion. Financial inclusion basically is actually a very critical challenge across the African continent. Millions of people actually lack access to basic banking system, right? Which actually limits their ability to save, to get loans, to get credit, and so many other things, and also to participate in the formal economy, right? Blockchain-based solutions can actually create identities for these people who are being limited by allowing them to bank their own bank to access financial services wherever they are. Now, the second point or the second opportunity that blockchain presents for Africa is actually reducing remittance costs. Hello, everyone. I would love to ask you a question. Remittance are a lifeline for many African families. True or false? Yeah. So a significant portion of population in Africa actually rely on funds sent from abroad. But however, the traditional remittance system actually comes with a hefty cost. And what are these costs? These costs ranges from around 3% to around 10%. In a study showed by World Bank, World Bank stated that $2.4 billion was actually used as a platform fee to send $34 billion to, from abroad down to Africa. 
But using blockchain powered cryptocurrencies or payment or solutions can actually drastically reduce this cost, right? Ensuring that the hard earned money that is actually being sent from abroad actually gets to in intended residents. So I'm going to give a scenario. Okay, yeah, three more minutes. So I'm going to just give a scenario on this point. Now let's use, look at this example. Hello, everyone. Yeah, so let's look at this scenario. Scenario A, Mr. A, who is a doctor abroad, sends $1,000 through the traditional remittance system. And let's assume, because they charge around 3 to like 10%, and Mr. A actually uses five, a platform using 5%. This means that the money that actually gets to the intended re recipient is actually like 5% on the $1,000. The recipient actually gets $950 because the platform has already taken $50. But utilizing blockchain part projects, which I'm going to list some of them, after this page, the cost can be drastically reduced from as low as, you know, 0 0.01, 0 0.5 to 0 0.01 well, percent. So if Mr. A actually had utilized a solution that actually works or uses blockchain, this means that Mr. A can pay as low as 0 0.5, which means that Mr. A1000 or had N1000 error gets to his family as $995 as opposed to the 950 So... Using blockchain power cryptocurrencies can drastically reduce the cost and show that more of the harder money is sent by the loved ones, which is its intended users. Now, because of time, I'll just run through some of the opportunities, which is digital identity, land ownership. Now, let's talk about some of the projects in Africa utilizing blockchain. We have BitPesa. BitPesa, for example, it's a blockchain-based payment platform that has streamlined cross-border transactions for African businesses, right? Thereby reducing costs and improving efficiency. Now we have BitNob. BitNob basically helps send, help Africans, businesses, and individuals send and spend money abroad with ease and at a reduced cost. And one of the platforms I was talking about, you know, that helps you send money across the, across the globe with a reduced cost is a blockchain-powered product like this. Now we have BitPower. BitPower basically is building the critical infrastructure to enable businesses to build financial inclusive services on the blockchain, from wallet to custody to asset management and to tokenization engine. We have FormBank. FormBank basically lets you use airtime to unramp to digital money. We have Bandless Pay. Bandless Pay basically is your assets bank on the blockchain. So Bandless Pay basically is a digital banking application for cross-border collection, payment, and settlement. We have Recify, which is a blockchain-based real estate platform. We have Regis, which is a digital documentation um, and authentication verification on blockchain. Now, why should we actually care? I'm coming towards the end of my topic. One is empowerment. With blockchain, blockchain empowers individuals and gives us the control over our finances, our data, and our assets. Secondly is innovation. Embracing blockchain basically fuels innovation across different sectors, like I've mentioned earlier, fintechs, banking sectors, healthcare, and so many others, thereby stimulating economic growth and also fostering entrepreneurship. The last point on why we should care is inclusivity. Blockchain decentralized nature ensures that even remote communities can actually participate in the global economy. So I'll just end today by saying that blockchain unlocks trust, transparency, and empowerment for Africans' future. Together, we hold the power to shape a brighter blockchain-enabled tomorrow. Thank you.